Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you read it correct. Make punching power great again. Make punching power great again. And I'll tell you why I say this. Now, this is not racial, but it's ethnically accurate for the most part when it comes to a lot of black fighters. Most black fighters, in my opinion, depend on their speed a lot and they're over dependent on their speed, which is why you have scenarios like Shock Foster, who was clearly robbed. He had the higher connect percentage, but he wasn't letting his hands go, nor was he sitting can say sow down. You have situations like Frank Martin, and you have other situations where boxers are so focused on their speed and their ability to move around the ring that they're not getting convincing wins they're not getting convincing stoppages and they're not necessarily hurting their opponents. You're out here fighting with grown men. It's grown men fighting grown men. And I don't think black fighters focus on punching power enough. You do have your substantial cases. Terrence Crawford, great punching power. Tank Davis, great punching power. Errol Spence, great punching power. Boots Ennis, great punching power. Abdullah Mason, good punching power. These fighters are damaging and stopping their opponents. When they're letting their hands go, and when they counter, they're really putting the pause on their opponents. What's gonna happen when these fighters who only depend on their speed, the tap and move situation, What's going to happen when they face a lot of these Hispanic fighters, you know, Mexican fighters, because they don't know any backup. All they know is come forward. They're going to have to have some substantial punching power to stop these individuals. Like Brian Norman did Giovanni Santilla. Santilla knew no backup, but Brian Norman had to sit him down. He had great punching power. They've got to put some weight in these hands. They've got to make statements. Convincing wins come with that punching power. It comes with them sitting these guys down, stopping these guys in their tracks, be it to the head or to the body. Punching power is something that's not really focused on with a lot of black fighters, in my opinion. Just solely my opinion. This tap and move and reposition around the ring, and I'm not saying that it's supposed to be a bloodbath where fighters are just sitting in the ring, in the middle of the ring and exchanging blows. Shakur Stevenson, in my opinion, he has good punching power at times, but he doesn't let his hands go and it's not overly convincing. So it doesn't have to be a bloodbath of sitting in the middle of the ring and exchanging. That's not what boxing is. It is hit and not get hit, but make the hits count. You know, there are a lot of videos out here right now where a lot of boxing experts are defending the Shakur Stevenson stance with him hitting and not getting hit. Yeah, but there's also a video out there where Bud said you you weren't letting your hands go. You're not letting your you got to let those hands go. And when you let those hands go, they have to be heavy enough to make a statement. Everybody wants to do the Mayweather effect which is a whole bunch of pad work, super fast, pop, 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 move, pop, 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 move. Or, and run around the ring and reposition. And it's not necessarily running, it is repositioning. But disengaging from the fight means that you have to re-engage at some point in time. And you're going to have to have some weight in those hands to re-engage in that fight and make a compelling statement. Judges are not giving fighters the fights when they're on their back foot the entire fight they're just not they were even pressuring Shakur they were telling him in the corner hey let your hands go let you you have to press the issue offensively 
That could come with a lot of doubt when people freeze and don't press the offense offensively. Why? Because they possibly have thrown their best shot already or their best number of shots. But that individual kept trucking forward. That's an issue for a lot of fighters. You've got to get that punch and power up. Make punch and power great again. Get in that gym. Hit the bag as hard as you can. Get that strength coach. Get that weight up in those hands and learn how to sit somebody down. It's a very important tool. It's really simple. That's the missing kinetic right now that I see in a lot of black fighters and they're gonna keep getting robbed if they do not tighten up and start making punch and power great again.